Hi, welcome to the Me and My Bass series. In this series, I will bore you with some interesting facts about some of the basses or bass related audio related stuff I own. I will tell you how I did purchase it and why. Further, I will tell you my humble opinion about their playability and their sound. This time's up. A closer look at the Aria Pro 2 Bass XRB2 from 9088. A while back I already made a video about this bass, but let's quickly recap what it is all about. The Aria Pro 2 Bass XRB2 is a model from the XRB series produced by Aria, uh, a well-known Japanese musical instrument manufacturer, but made in Korea. The body uh, of this XRB2 is typically made from uh, hardwood providing a balanced tone with good resonance and sustain. The neck is constructed from maple offering stability and a bright tonal quality. It's bolted on to the body and the fingerboard is made out of rosewood. The fingerboard adds a smooth feel and warm tone to the overall sound. It features twin, twin, shut up, 22 frets. The scale length is uh, 34 inches, which is typical for the most electric bass guitars. The pickups are two XRB2 pickups uh, uh, usually a combination of its a combination of a P style and J style pickups. This configuration provides versatility in tonal options from deep and punchy to bright and articulate. Bridge is a typical standard fixed bridge, ensuring stability and solid intonation. The controls, the bass has a volume control and a tone controller, further a three position pickup uh, switch. The tuners are standard enclosed uh, gear tuners for reliable stability. The body shape is uh, ergonomically designed, featuring a contoured shape, well, sort of, whether standing or sitting, it's comfortable, uh, but of course with a strong 80s hair metal vibe. The tone is made by a combination of wood types and pickup configuration and the construction methods result in a versatile instrument suitable for various music genres from rock to jazz and blues and metal. <clears throat> Playability, the smooth neck and well spaced frets make it comfortable to play even for extended periods. Uh, in historical context, the production era of the XRB series including this one, uh, gained popularity in the late 80s, early 90s. And uh, Aria Pro 2 was known for producing high quality instruments at affordable prices during, the per during this period, <laughs> making them a popular choice among aspiring bassists and professional musicians alike. Uh, the market position of this bass, well, the Aria Pro 2 basses, including this one, are considerable, reliable and well-crafted instruments, often praised for their value for money ratio. They are a common choice for players who are looking for a quality instrument without breaking the bank. Collectability and the current market value, depending on condition, age and specific model, the value of an Aria Pro uh, 2 XRB2 can vary. They are generally affordable but sought after by collectors and players who appreciate vintage Japanese craftsmanship made in Korea. Availability, these bases can often be found in secondhand music stores, online marketplaces where I bought it and occasionally in a pawn shop. The reputation for durability means many used models are still in good playing condition. A couple of weeks back, a viewer, Andy Regak Pramata, if, sorry if I pronounce your name wrong, asked me if I could demonstrate the bass without distortion. In the actual video I did on the bass, I used my usual MPEG SVT simulation. So now I will play the bass uh, without a simulation, so you can get an impression how this bass sounds direct in, with no processing. Let's take a listen.
hope this clears things up for my viewer Andy and get people interested in these quite often overlooked bases. Uh, that's it for this episode. If you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. And I hope I see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Until next time, see you. Bye bye.